Hello everyone, welcome to Everything Arsenal and I am still gutted after going out of the Carabao Cup. There is two trophies lost in the space of one week or something like just, just under two weeks. But we have to move on. We can't really dwell on it too much. Uh, we obviously need to make some signings this month. You already know that. But as usual, after every five fixtures, I usually do this kind of videos talking about our next set of fixtures. Um, we don't have that many. We only have 18 matches remaining the whole season, just the 18 Premier League games. No European football, no FA Cup, no Carabao Cup. Other teams have close to 30 games. Other teams could have like even 35 games if they go further in the competitions. But for us, it's only the remaining 18 games, and it's it it has to it has to be. We have to finish in the top four. Surely we cannot drop again. We have to wait and see. But as always, I'll go to the next five fixtures. Let me know in the comment section how many points you think we will get from these five fixtures. And um, yeah, let's let's get straight into it. So the first fixture is going to be Burnley, obviously, this weekend. Arsenal against Burnley. Um, last time we, we faced them, we obviously beat them by one goal to nil through Odegaard's free kick. That was very early on in the season. I think that was our fifth game. That was our first away win of the season. Hopefully this time around, we can get the three points here. Obviously, there's nothing um, that would be allowed other than three points. If we end up drawing or losing this game, it would be a disaster. Burnley at bottom of the table. They have so many games in hand, but they haven't played in such a while. They are not fit enough. They've sold the likes of Wood. They don't have Corne, one of their flair players. We have to go here and we, they have to come to our place and we have to win this game. We have to bounce back right away from that um, game against Liverpool. And the other thing is, after this Burnley game, we do not play any other match. Listen to this. We don't play any other match for 18 days. You know, when you go to international breaks, you usually have 14 days without a game, and then you play the, on the 15th day on the, or the 16th day. This time around, we won't have any game next weekend. We also won't have any game the other weekend. Our next game won't be until that other Thursday. That will be, I think, February 10th or something. 18 days without a game. So imagine if you lose this game, it will be a nightmare for almost three weeks just thinking about um, going out to the FA Cup, Carabao Cup, losing to Burnley. It wouldn't be nice. So that is our first fixture. Surely it's going to be three points. Uh, I believe you guys think it's going to be three points. Comment down below. Um, then the next fixture, as I said, after 18 days will be Wolves away. This will be the first time playing Wolves this season. Uh, one of the games was postponed, so it might be arranged somewhere, maybe even before that uh, February 10th. You never know, by, by I really, really doubt. So we will be playing Wolves, a very tough team to score against. They've considered the least number of goals alongside Man City. Um, they, I, they rarely concede more than one goal in a game. City only scored one against them. Chelsea only scored um, none against them. In fact, Liverpool only scored one against them. That was in the last minute. City's goal was a penalty. So they are very good defensively. Um, the likes of Cody. Um, Attacking-wise, they will have the pace of Traore. They will have him in as always. So it's never easy facing Wolves. And I believe the last... Um, like the last two times we've gone there, they've beaten us. Last is only lost two, and we got two red cards, Arsenal and red cards, Arsenal and red cards. Not a, not, not a surprise. Last season we went there, we got a, two red cards, Leno and Luis. The previous season, I believe they also beat us. I, there's a time they beat us by three goals to one at their place. I think the previous season we won two, one. But since they came back to the Premier League, I think they've beaten us like twice, and I think we've beaten them once. So. It's not time. Um, it's not good enough, and you have to improve that record. It won't be an easy game. In fact, I think this will be the hardest game of the next five. Um, maybe if we have to drop points, a draw in this game would not be bad because Wolves is not a, a, a neat, an easy team to play against. But the situation we are in right now, with Tottenham winning games, with the United start probably starting to win games, we have to get something from here. So that will be the second fixture for us. Um, next up after Wolves uh, will be Brentford. Do you all remember what happened against Brentford at the start of the season? They beat us 2-0. We didn't score a goal. Um, that was shocking then. Uh, obviously, since then, they've, still, they've managed big results against the likes of uh, Everton, Liverpool. So they've done pretty well. But they went, they went to one field the other day. They lost by three goals comfortably. Um, Chelsea beat them. So all these teams would beat them. Tottenham beat them. We have to also beat them. And any home game from now, we simply have to win any home game. This Brentford's Burnley's at home. We have to collect three points, improve on our goal difference. We cannot allow Brentford to beat us again, and not even a draw, especially considering we have Wolves before that. 
and the team we have after Brentford, we have to win this game. So that will be the third game. There will definitely be another break in the middle there. So we have no midweek games as always, unless the Premier League games fall in midweek or postponed games get uh, rearranged for midweek. After Brentford, we will be facing another not easy team, another team that is not easy to face that will be Watford. Watford will be the next fixture after that. I think it's going to be Watford. Or am I confused? myself i thought it was going to be leicester let me just confirm that i i started recording this video before i confirmed uh, the the difference between watford and um leicester we, we have watford and leicester the third and fourth I, 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 I thought i went mad watford is the next fixture after that i thought i i messed up but watford will be the next fixture after that obviously you're playing home then away then home then away then home so watford earlier this season you only managed to beat them by one goal to nil that was at the emirates stadium that was one of the games that Niles really, really performed well and Smith was at the top of his goal scoring form. He was scoring every single week, scored against them. Um, it's not going to be an easy game, but we have to get three points because Watford has one of the worst. Um, they've not kept a clean sheet the entire season. So I, I don't want us to go there and then struggle for a goal, maybe draw 1-1 or something. Surely it cannot happen. We have to go there and you have to pick up three points. I know I'm saying it's never easy away from home because maybe by then they might have sacked their manager by then. Maybe they'll have a new manager bounce. Maybe um, they would have picked up a couple of wins. They're playing Norwich soon. They're playing Burnley soon. They might pick up uh, a couple of wins and to boost their confidence. But there's no excuse for this game. This has to be another win. If you're going to get up for such kind of games, we have to win. So Watford will be the next one. And then the, next, uh, the last fixture from the next five that I thought was going to be the fourth fixture is going to be Leicester at home. So... Leicester, um, earlier this season, we played them at the King Power Stadium, and that was one of our best performances so far this season. Definitely Ramsdale's best performance this season. That save, you'd remember it, it was at Leicester. Leicester, since then, um, they've had a couple of more big games. They lost to Liverpool in the Carabao Cup. We would have, in fact, we would have been facing Leicester. Um, this would have been like the fifth time we, we were going to face Leicester like in the space of four weeks, because if they beat Liverpool, in the Carabao Cup penalties, it's Leicester who we would have played in the Carabao Cup semi-final instead of Liverpool. So that would have been home and away. And also, if we beat Nottingham, we beat Nottingham Forest in the FA Cup, we would have been facing Leicester. So we would have taken on Leicester four times in three different competitions in the space, the space of like three weeks. So that, unfortunately, that is not going to happen. We're only going to face them one more time and we have to win this game. Again, it's not going to be easy. Out of those five games, um, we have to win four. Maybe we allowed maybe one defeat somewhere, one draw somewhere, but we, we cannot afford to like drop points at home right now. Remember, after this, it's going to get harder. We have to face Chelsea um, at Stamford Bridge. We have to face Liverpool again in the Premier League. We have to face United again. We have to play Tottenham away from home. So these are like the easier fixtures coming up in the next two months. The harder fixtures will be rearranged like Chelsea was supposed to be in February, but that has been postponed because Chelsea won't be around. So we have to, we have to win these easier games. I, I know there's no easy game in the Premier League, but we have to try and get results here because it doesn't get easier than this uh, very, very soon. So those are our next um, five fixtures. Um, three games at home, two games away from home. No other fixtures to talk about because usually I talk about um, Arsenal have the Premier League here and then maybe we'll have a Carabao Cup fixture in the middle and then maybe... Europa League here, yeah, maybe none of that this season. Just the next five fixtures. Arsenal against Burnley this Sunday. Burnley at home surely has to be three points. Wolves away from home. It's not going to be easy. I'm actually going to go for a draw in that one. Um, I'd be happy the draw. Uh, Brentford at home, we have to collect all three points with a goal difference of two or three goals uh, in that game. Um, Watford, we have to pick up three points. And also Leicester, I think the way Leicester have been conceding goals, you saw them conceding two goals to Tottenham in the space of the last one minute, basically. Their, their defense is not good. So here we are facing like three teams that have poor defenses, like Watford, Leicester, um, Burnley as well, bottom of the table. Wolves have a good defense, Brentford beat us last time, but no excuses, man. I am going to go for Arsenal to pick up... Um, 13 points out of the 15. Hopefully we do it. Um, hopefully uh, we don't lose any of those games. One draw will not be a disaster. A loss would be bad because of how other teams are like playing right now. We have to pick up three points um, in most of the games. So those are the fixtures. Let me know how many points you think we would get. 
And um, let me know which game will be easy, which game is the hardest. Thank you for watching. Keep staying safe and I'll catch up with you guys soon.